Okay, now we're about to learn uh, symmetrical like offset parts. Uh, we're going to do something, some sort of a crank. So front plane, line. Voila. And once again, centimeters. Edit sketch. This will be three. This will be, I think I was using 10. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to press F to see everything well. And now I want my uh, angle. So smart dimension. Click on one line. Click on the corresponding one. And I think I was using 60 degrees. Wow. Uh, fillet. Here I was using 1.5 centimeter, one here, one there. So we can always go back and change those numbers. As you know, all of this is parametric, so it's dynamic, it can be changed. Um, offset entities, I, think I was using 1.5. And just to show you, I'm going to click here. When you have chains, it, so offset is very useful. You click on a line and it'll create an offset, a new one. If you have chain on, it will walk all around. If you have bidirectional, you'll go both ways. Now, if I use this, I might want this one to be center line, base geometry construction. And you can cap the end with lines or arc. So it's a lot like the slot here. But it's much more powerful because you can do shapes that are much more complex than those ones. Uh, voila. Then I'll go extrude. And here is something new. When we extrude it, always start from the plane that we started to the left or the right. And you can switch by clicking here. But sometimes you want your sketch to be at the center. So this is where you would go mid plane so now your front or top whatever you use i think me was the front plane is at the center of my part and this is very useful i'm going to put one five so it'll be one five on each side so it's actually three centimeter deep voila so now my plane is in the middle you see so now instead of grabbing a face and drawing i'm going to grab the same plane and do a new sketch so it looks like I'm drawing here, but I'm actually drawing in the center. I'm going to go to circle, hover here. Now I see the center. Hover there. I see the center. Shift. can make those two equal. And I would dimension one. And I was using two centimeters. So now what I can do, I can extrude those. But I mean, I mean they are the center. So I can do another mid-plane here. And here I'll use three. So they'll stick out a little bit. The more I think about it, three might be a bit pushing it. Let's try two, five. Yeah, two, five is better. Voila. And then what I can do, I can draw this time on the face and draw some new circle over there same here make them equal and then dimension so i was using one five so now those one are on the top. This is just a bug. Sometimes when you go Control Eight, I'll show you how to change this. I can show you now. Uh, they didn't have this. You see, it went, and I think I was using two point five. Yeah. But sometimes when you go Control Eight, it puts it here. It didn't do that before two thousand twelve, but since it sometimes does that. Uh, so now I'm going to do a cut and I'm going to cut through everything. So through 
Wow. If you really want to round this, usually when you do fillet here, 3D fillet feature, start by the widest one. So if you know that you're going to go very wide here, uh, you could almost select that face and you see, drop this down. Uh, I don't know if I want fillets here, maybe. Um, but if not, what I can do is just grab one line and he'll try his best to go all along. So I always start with the wider one first. And then you can add another set of fillet. Here, what can look very nice actually is could be also chamfer was underneath. So we could try that. Uh, And then chamfer on the back. Wow. Then we can do a fillet here. Maybe even smaller than one. There. That's okay. And finally, if we really want to do a nice rendering, we could do a really small fillet, like a 025, and we could do it there on this face. Especially if you're going to use metal for rendering, that could help. For machining, this is not necessary. Voilà